exciting update, everyone. Japan's Moon Sniper Explorer is back in action, making an impressive return to the moon's surface. As soon as this news came to the scientists, their excitement level increased. The robotic lander, which was recently sent on a mission to explore a specific area of the moon, took off after experiencing a temporary shock due to a power problem. Has successfully resumed its operations following a 10-day shutdown. The resumption of this mission is a joy not only to scientists in Japan, but to the entire world. The resumption of activities underlines the precision and accuracy with which we can now explore the moon. It can offer a glimpse of hidden secrets and open doors to new possibilities for humanity. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the latest images taken by the lander, delve deeper into the challenges facing the mission team, and explore the future possibilities of this groundbreaking initiative. Learn why this mission holds so much importance and excitement, highlighting its importance for fostering global cooperation and competition in the emerging lunar space race. The moon is our neighbor, so it is important to know about it. In this video, we will also know what happened to Japan's Moon Sniper Explorer. How did scientists get it back together later? To know the answers to all these questions, stay tuned to this episode of Cosmic Discovery. Do you want to know how the lander managed to recover after landing upside down and losing power? Well, it turns out that lander had a clever contingency plan. Equipped with solar panels capable of generating electricity when exposed to sunlight, the lander faced a challenge when it unexpectedly landed upside down, blocking the solar panel's access to sufficient sunlight. In response, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, decided to temporarily shut down the lander while patiently waiting for the sun's angle to change. As sunlight began to reach the western side of the moon, the solar panels began generating electricity once again. This caused the lander to restart automatically. JAXA shared this exciting development on social media platform X, announcing the successful re-establishment of communications with the lander and the resumption of operations. While in its operational phase, the lander embarked on a captivating journey of capturing and transmitting new images of the lunar surface through its advanced multiband camera. One particularly interesting image zoomed in on a rock affectionately dubbed Toy Poodle by JAXA, situated in close proximity to the lander. Another image presented a mosaic showcasing the lunar landscape adorned with rocks of diverse sizes and shapes, each playfully assigned a nickname by the mission team, such as Chihuahua, Pomeranian, and Shiyu. These images not only offer a visual treat, but also provide invaluable insights into the intricate diversity of the lunar region surrounding the Sholi crater, where the moon's mantle is believed to be exposed. The moon's mantle, typically residing as a deep inner layer beneath the crust, holds profound scientific significance. Delving into its mysteries could potentially unravel the origin and evolutionary tale of our celestial neighbor. Furthermore, the images provide a peek into the specific location and condition of the lander, which impressively touched down approximately 55 meters away from its intended target. This remarkable precision cements its status as the most accurate lunar landing in history. The triumphant resumption of operations and the exceptional precision of the landing mark significant milestones, advancing our comprehension of the moon's composition and geological history. With the moon sniper explorer back in action, let's delve into what we can anticipate from its future endeavors and check out its current status. Looking ahead, the future prospects of the moon sniper explorer mission hold immense promise and excitement. As the robotic lander continues its exploration of the lunar surface, it is poised to unlock new chapters in our understanding of the moon's geology and composition. As per JAXA, the lander has only a limited amount of propellant left, and it's not equipped for a second landing maneuver. Therefore, the likelihood of repositioning the lander through thrust is low. It will persist in its current position, actively observing and analyzing the lunar surface using its multiband camera and other scientific instruments. With its laser altimeter, laser range finder, and thermometer, the lander possesses the capability to gauge the distance, shape, and temperature of the lunar terrain. 
The mission is slated to endure for about six months, concluding by the end of July 2024, coinciding with the onset of the lunar night and subsequent power loss. Over this time frame, the lander is poised to provide significant data, enhancing our comprehension of the moon's composition and geological characteristics. The two probes separated from the lander remained fully functional and maintained communication with Earth. The transmitter probe, positioned at a distance of roughly 100 meters, is responsible for transmitting signals from the lander to our home planet. Simultaneously, the mini rover probe, situated approximately 50 meters away, is dynamically exploring the lunar surface, capturing images through its camera. Notably, the mini rover probe can alter its shape, transitioning from a sphere to a disk. The mission's timeline anticipates a duration of approximately three months, concluding by the end of April 2024, coinciding with the projected depletion of its battery. One key aspect to anticipate is the ongoing collection of data and images from the targeted region near the Sholi Crater. These insights will likely deepen our knowledge of the exposed lunar mantle, contributing significantly to scientific research on the Moon's formation and development. Additionally, the mission is expected to yield further high-resolution images, offering a more detailed view of the lunar landscape and any notable geological features. These images could hold clues about the Moon's history, potential resources, and even aid in identifying suitable locations for future lunar exploration and potential human missions. The precision demonstrated in the landing bodes well for the continued success of the mission. With the ability to navigate and operate with such accuracy, the Moon Sniper Explorer may uncover unexpected discoveries and provide a wealth of information that will shape our understanding of the Moon and its place in the broader context of our solar system. What obstacles did the mission team encounter? The Moon Sniper Explorer faced various challenges and risks on its way to the Moon, successfully navigating through unexpected difficulties and setbacks. Setting off on August 29, 2023, the lander journeyed for approximately four months, finally entering the Moon's orbit on December 25, 2023. Unfortunately, the mission's planned landing sequence, aiming for a precise and gentle landing using optical navigation, encountered an unexpected twist. In the crucial landing phase, a malfunction occurred as one of the lander's engines failed to ignite, leading to the spacecraft's loss of control and a descent down a crater slope. Ultimately, it landed upside down, oriented in the wrong direction, with damage to its antenna and solar cells. With communication lost with ground control, the lander had to rely on its limited battery power. Faced with a critical decision, the mission team had to choose between conserving battery by shutting off the lander or keeping it powered on to transmit landing data. They opted for the latter, prioritizing the transmission of landing data to Earth in the hopes of gaining insights into the incident and identifying potential solutions. The mission team encountered another significant challenge as they needed to deploy two probes separated from the lander and closely monitor their status and performance. The first probe served as a transmitter responsible for relaying signals from the lander to Earth. The second was a shape-shifting mini-rover, slightly larger than a tennis ball. This innovative rover, crafted by the minds behind Transformer Toys, was designed to navigate the lunar surface and transmit images back to Earth. Its unique ability to change shape and size based on the lunar terrain and encountered obstacles added a remarkable dimension to the mission's exploration capabilities. Despite facing challenges and risks, the mission team accomplished numerous remarkable innovations and successes. They showcased the accuracy of a gentle lunar landing through the use of cutting-edge optical navigation, a groundbreaking technology. Moreover, deploying two distinct probes yielded valuable insights and images of the Moon. The team demonstrated resilience and ingenuity in addressing a power crisis, ultimately restoring the lander's operations. These accomplishments signify significant progress in lunar exploration, underscoring the team's adaptability and success in overcoming unforeseen challenges. The Moon Sniper Explorer stands as a remarkable accomplishment, not only for Japan but for the global community as well. This mission not only reveals the Moon's beauty and mysteries, 
but also highlights the vast potential and possibilities that precision and accuracy bring to exploring our celestial neighbor. The successful missions of the Moon Sniper Explorer pave the way for discovering resources and opportunities that can benefit humanity in diverse ways. It exemplifies the spirit of exploration and showcases technological advancements that enable us to delve into the vastness of space. Nevertheless, this mission also sheds light on the inherent challenges and risks associated with such ambitious endeavors. The journey of the Moon Sniper Explorer is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, illustrating our ability to overcome obstacles and turn setbacks into opportunities for innovation. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in a new video like this. Thanks till then.